Today I'm going to talk about the Carefree Awning Stabilizer Bar Kit that I purchased from Carefree directly. Um, we are out here camping in the West Desert. As you can see, there's a, a few of us. And most people have their awnings out. These new carefree awnings, electric awnings that are on the trailers are a bit flimsy and it's one of the reasons why I went ahead and purchased the carefree awning stabilizer kit which does help a little bit. Still very cautious when, when the wind starts coming up because the arms on these are pretty flimsy in my opinion. But I'm going to show you how this works. What you receive with the stabilizer kit is two adjustable poles and they adjust uh, from I believe 55 inches to 108 inches a couple of stakes the two straps a little bag to keep it all in and of course instructions so the first thing you got to do is extend the electric awning to uh, to its full extent as Angie's doing right now once she gets that out and it'll get set up and we'll go ahead and install the pole kit. Of course, one of the issues that I have with this awning is how flimsy these bars are. I mean, pretty flimsy. You want to take the end of the strap. There we go. Then there's a little hook here on the stabilizer bar. You want to loop that in. Just kind of pull it up snug. You can see just how this bounces. Yeah, it bounces, but just not very much pressure. Undo the latch here. Extend the bar down, keeping it taunt against the the awning itself, the awning roll, till you get the right height. Secure that. Then what we're gonna do is grab one of these stakes. Come out about five to six feet away. We're gonna stake this into the ground. So here we are on the other side. Again, let's throw the strap over. Do you like my toy? Hook it on to the to the and bring it up, open this up, let the, the pole extend. Again, it's not meant to, to do anything but stabilize that. So once you get it about the height you want, close that, and then pound the stake in. Then you can adjust the tension of this slightly with this. It seems actually to be pretty good. And then that just gives so that just gives this the awning a little bit of stabilization for when a slight breeze comes up. It's not going to cause your awning to bounce because um, it's tied down on the end. I'll put a link down below for anybody interested in uh, going to Carefree of Colorado. Three to five minutes really to set up. It's not very difficult and gives the awning a little bit more stabilization in the wind if, if you want to spin around. You can see how the wind's blowing a little bit in some of these other awnings. And, uh, but it's sure nice to have that porch, especially out here in the desert when the sun's beating down on the trailer, help keep you know, the trailer partially cooled on the one side, uh, at least right now. So I hope you found that awning video a little bit interesting we that is one of the big issues that we really don't exactly like about this trailer yeah. is that electric flimsy awning right but um, I mean if we could mount one of the uh, old school oh, yeah, old school one of the manual heavy duty awnings that we know is anchored into a brace in the side of the trailer I'd go back to that in a heartbeat. Yes. Um, we really miss having to be able to set up, have our porch. Well, the only thing it has really that that is is the light, and that just actually attracts bugs. So I don't even care about that. 
the, the new one is automatic and has a light, but the old one are just so much better structurally. At least for us. I mean, I obviously the manufacturers have gone to that electronic carefree awning. I mean, I'm just not a fan. <laughs> But, but you make do with what you have, so right. um, occasionally we'll get out that stabilizer kit uh, when, it's, when it's slightly breezy just to help tie it down a little bit. Of course, if it's windy at all, I mean, it stays in. Right, anyway. but it is nice to have the shade and the porch that yeah. it provides. All right, well, sticker time. Mail time. Sticker, mail. All right, well, so in the last uh, week or so, we've received six new stickers from... Mm -hmm fellow travelers and we thought we'd just uh, show them off so uh, we received one from Adventures with Tuck Nay and I do believe that they've got a YouTube channel but they don't have any videos on that so right. they're mostly on Instagram um, it's fun to follow and see their pictures and yeah. we also got one from Mel and Nettie zip codeless free I'm slaughtering it already Mel Nettie living Free zip codeless. Free zip codeless. So they've been a big supporter of the RV community. They actually live uh, Super cute. in their uh, Class A in, in Texas, I believe. And they're, they've are they both been working, though, and they're just about ready to uh, re both retire and actually hit the road full time. So That's an uh, exciting they've time. Got a couple of, they've, only, they've got a couple of videos, and they're great videos. Very, very fun couple. And our ice machine just went off. And the next one we've got is... Two restless retirees, um, and that would be Derek and Peggy. Peggy. Peg, Derek and Peggy, and they're from Lehigh, Utah, so they're just a little bit south of where we live. Right. And we drive through Lehigh all the time. Of course, Lehigh being made famous with uh, Footloose. Mm -hmm. Hey, Peggy and Derek, can you dance in Lehigh yet? They still have <laughs> to go up to to Salt Lake County. <laughs> Anyways, all right, and then our friends across the pond. Mark and Coral from Hitch Up and Tow. I love watching their channel. Um, they're so fun. They, 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 their banter is fun, and it's fun listening to them talk. Yes, because you love the accent. And so it is a hoot. And one of the things that's fun about that is just listening to the different, you know, terms, dialect. Of course, right. you know, hey, here it's an RV park. Over there, it's a park up. So right. fun channel, and. Uh, I haven't won anything. They they had their 300 subscriber giveaway, but we didn't win. We never win anything. Yes, we do. <laughs> Anyways, and then we got a sticker from Brad and Diana of It's <laughs> About Time Now. And Brad's retired uh, Coast Guard, and they still own their sticks and bricks. They just like to get out and travel, and hopefully they're going to make it out west. Mm -hmm. Who knows with this beer virus that we've got going on there. Anyways, but good people. And then finally, Donovan and Jody sent us their sticker from RV on the Wayside. Yeah. And uh, they've kind of been in hiatus because a couple of months ago they got in a bad accident uh, down by Tucson. So they've been stuck in a hotel for two months. Yuck. Yeah. So good luck to them and hopefully they get on the road. And our next thing will be we have ordered a banner to display our stickers and hopefully that goes the way we want it to you know how with anything the plan execution who knows hopefully yeah so we can show that yeah my Ange, Ange and I well it was Angie's idea we're gonna we're gonna put them on a white banner and uh, tie it in with a piece of PVC hose and pipe and stick it on the front of the trailer so hopefully it works <laughs> yeah hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll actually be able to start displaying all of these stickers from other other people that we've uh, received. So that'll yeah. be awesome. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, uh, as always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please, you know, dance with our red button, subscribe, and follow Angie, Jazz, and I on our journey. Yeah. All Until right. next time. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everybody. Say hi, Boo. Hi. Who's, who's over there making a... What are you making? Out of desert clay, yeah. desert clay. All right, and that's been a couple of years ago. I understand that. I got the wrong end. We want to take the end of the strap. Looks like this. Somebody's riding a four wheeler. <laughs> 